Nikolai Valiu is a professional boxer, multiple world and Russian champion. Mountain Man, beast from the east, Russian giant, as soon as rivals and fans called Nikolai. Born in the northern capital on August 21, 1973 in a family of factory workers. He became the heaviest and tallest fighter in boxing history. In kindergarten, the boy grew rapidly, leaving his peers far behind. Now the boxer has the 52nd leg size, his height is 213 centimeters, and the weight at the peak of his sports career reached 146 to 151 kilogram. In total, the boxer spent 52 fights, of which he won 34 fights by knockout and only lost two. Thanks to his unique physical data, high growth and large arm span, value showed incredible results. Nikolai. WBA World Champion, 2005-2007 in 2008-2009, WBA Intercontinental Champion, 2004-2005. Asian Champion according to PABA, 2001-2004, WBA North American Champion, 2007. At the age of 20, the young man decided to take up boxing. The debut in the giant ring as a professional took place in 1993 after only a few months of training and just over 10 amateur fights. In 1997, at a tournament in Australia, Nikolai was opposed by 36-year-old American boxer Bab Sinclair. Nikolai knocked out the American in the sixth round. In 1998, Nikolai Valiu vs James Gaines fought. The Russian giant was again confronted by a fighter from America. As with previous opponents, Valiuv confidently dealt with him and scored 16 wins in a row, with zero defeats. On January 22, 1999, in St. Petersburg, in a fight against Alexei Osokin, he won the title of Russian champion among professionals, which he defended on December 15 of the same year in a fight against Alexei Varykin. In the interval between these fights, on May 7, Valiuv fought against the German Andreas Seiden. Valiuv knocked down his opponent twice. In the third round, the referee stopped the fight. The audience, dissatisfied with the premature stop, threw bottles at the ring. Seiden provoked Valiuv to continue. In the sixth round, the fight was stopped, and the decision, no contest, the fight was declared invalid, was announced. On June 6, 2000, Nikolai Valiu, in a fight against Ukrainian Yuri Illustrative, won the heavyweight title of the Pan-Asian Boxing Association, PABA. The 12-round fight that took place in St. Petersburg was tense, and the winner was determined by points. Subsequently, Nikolai Valiu defended the title of PABA champion five times. On July 24, 2004, Nikolai Valiu fought against Nigerian Richard Bongo, in which Nikolai Valiu won the title of Intercontinental Professional Champion WBA, by technical knockout in the sixth round. Subsequently, Nikolai defended this title four times. In 2005, the Russian giant was opposed by a fighter from Sweden, Attila Levin. At that time, he had 28 wins and three losses. But this statistic did not impress value, and for the second time he defended his WBA Intercontinental title. In May 2005, Value met in Germany with the American Clifford Etienne. Aggressive Etienne boldly went in exchange with the enemy, who significantly outnumbered him in size. In the middle of the third round, Value delivered a double left uppercut to the jaw, and Etienne fell to the canvas. He got up at the expense of six. A few seconds later, Valuev again carried out a left uppercut to the jaw and added another right cross to the forbidden area, to the back of the head. Etienne was on the floor. The referee ignored the violation of the rules by Valuev and began counting the knockdown to his opponent. Etienne lay on the floor and pointed to the back of his head, without getting up at the expense of ten. The referee recorded a knockout. In October 2005, a qualifying fight for the WBA heavyweight title took place between Nikolai Valiu and Larry Donald. For Donald, this was the third career eliminator. Valiu had an advantage at the beginning of the battle. 
The judges by majority decision declared the winner of the Russian. On December 17, 2005, having won his 44th fight, Nikolai Valiu became the first Russian world heavyweight champion according to the World Boxing Association WBA, defeating John Ruiz by a majority vote. The victory in the fight for the championship title was not easy for Valiu. According to the results of the 12-round fight, two judges gave preference to Nikolai, and one judge determined a draw. The first defense of the title of world champion Nikolai Valiu held on June 3, 2006 against the Jamaican boxer Owen Beck. Nikolai Valiu won by technical knockout in the third round in this fight, successfully defending the title of world champion. In October 2006, Valiu met with contender Monty Barrett. Nikolai knocked out American Monty Barrett in the 11th round before knocking him down several times and defended his WBA heavyweight title. On January 20, 2007, Nikolai Valiu held the third consecutive voluntary defense of the world champion title against the American Jamil McLean. This fight was recognized as the heaviest in the history of boxing. The total weight of the boxers was almost 272 kilograms, 600 pounds. The fight ended with Valiu's victory by TKO in the third round. McLean refused to continue the fight, citing a left knee injury. In August 2008, the second fight took place between Nikolai Valiu and John Ruiz. The vacant WBA heavyweight title was on the line. The fight was similar to the first fight. There were also many equal fights and clinches. The victory was awarded to Nikolai Valiu. In December 2008, a fight took place between Nikolai Valiu and an American, Evander Holyfield. For most of the fight, the American danced around the Russian. The audience booed him, occasionally punching accurate and clear hooks. There were practically no active actions on the part of the boxers. The judges gave the victory to Nikolai Valiu by majority decision. In 2010, the fight between Valiu and Vitali Klitschko was supposed to take place, but it was cancelled, to the chagrin of the fans. A year later, Nikolai Valiu announced his retirement. If you like the video please like and subscribe to our channel about fighters. Thank you for watching.